Nanotechnology is, is most definitely among the cutting edge fields in, in science and technology. And Canada and Israel have been working actively toward deepening their science and technology partnerships in this particular area. There have been meetings recently in Ottawa and Toronto, which involved high-level officials from both countries, and confirmed the mutual interest of our countries to collaborate in such an important area. Canada and Israel do excellent research. I believe Israel is, is internationally renowned for its work in nanotechnology. And I think together we have the capacity to capitalize on the commercialization opportunities of our research and to take a leading role in the field. While I know that some collaboration already exists among some of you, I hope that this workshop will actually give you an opportunity to deepen those collaborations and to extend them to work with people who you might not have otherwise known about. Carleton actually has a long history in nano research and education. So besides the, the innovative research, we have a focus on nanotechnology in some of our undergraduate and graduate programs. For example, there is a nanotechnology stream in chemistry and a nanoscience stream being jointly developed between engineering and the Department of Chemistry. We have several researchers, many of whom are here today, doing nano-related research, and that spans from nanomechanics to optoelectronics, atomic layer deposition, solar cells, photonics, biophotonics, and even water treatment. Many of our researchers have already received prestigious awards or, or grants to be able to conduct their work. So I'm sure that today's event is going to provide an opportunity to engage in very constructive dialogues and to lead to successful collaboration and future joint ventures. So I hope you have a very productive day. Since 1949, Canada and Israel have enjoyed a fruitful partnership that has resulted in extensive, extensive technical and commercial exchanges and has led to lucrative breakthroughs in many sectors. As ambassador of Israel to Canada, it is my main role to ensure this partnership grows and continues to thrive. I strongly believe that academic collaboration is a vital part of this relationship. It is a valuable tool which not only enhances the quality of research, but also strengthens the relationship between our two countries. This academic workshop for, workshop, for instance, is part of a much wider effort. It's the first. It's a beginning. I see it as a pilot to many more. And, and we discussed it. We could do much more based on what we are going to, the results we're going to have in these two days and think of how we can widen this relationship beyond uh, Carlton. And I thank Carlton for the beginning, for being the beginner, being to start by, by the fact that we had started with you. But it is, um, this is a part of a much wider effort to create a platform on which Israeli and Canadian cooperation in science, technology, and innovation can flourish. This effort is deeply supported by both governments who are moving to deepen our ties, and uh, Kim, you had mentioned it, mentioned it earlier, in science and innovation. Prime Minister Netanyahu and Prime Minister Harper have both agreed that such collaboration would benefit each of their economies they decided to launch high-level consultations to which areas of mutual interest in the sp spheres of emerging, emerging technologies and innovation would be identified. This workshop is an opportunity to help bring the field of nanotechnology closer to its immense potential. Thank you very much. <laughs>